Hey, hey, hey! Wait, that's Krusty the Clown, isn't it, from The Simpsons? That, no, that, I, I take it back. Hello, everyone. Welcome to 3 into 1 Bookstore. If I'd known that there was a bookstore in the lab bin, I would not have turned that corner shop lot of Blue Water Village into a um, bookstore. But then again, you know, you can never have too many bookstores, right? So, yeah, I just kept it as a bookstore and, you know, I guess there are two. <laughs> so, this lot, this shape is um, interesting. It's like they were, we have to do something dynamic. A little part here, a little bit here, Dina a diagonal wall over here, yes. I don't know what they were thinking, but you know, with the pediment on top, it looks great anyway, so <laughs> who cares? Um, there's not a lot of space for like, uh, you know, plans, so uh, I said, decided to keep that little, uh, the entrance with the sort of a brown, what is it, pulp leaves or something? or. I decided to go with kind of the a similar feel and uh, yeah I just framed kind of the paths with the uh, with the little are they called they're not called twigs the little wood the little small fence thingy and decided to put some um, you know the swooping grass that blows so gently when it's uh, you know when the wind's uh, blowing and I just kept it really simple for the rest uh, you know of course I went the, with the Thorpe set because you know I'm not over it yet uh, I decided to go for different colors this time I decided to go for uh, brown uh, so frames and dark windows because I just wanted to do something different. I was like, yeah, I don't want to go black and white this time. So I decided to go brown and black. So I'm, I'm, I'm learning, I'm transforming, <laughs> picking different colors. Now it has all to do with, I wanted the inside to be a little bit, you know, wanted this to look like a bit older. And while I love the Forbes set, it still looks a little bit modern, especially when you pick the white frame, so... Yeah, decided to go with a light brown this time. Very long bathrooms this lot, very long, but you know, enough space for uh, some stalls, so that's nice. Some more, uh... They're not called cattails, I think those are the other ones. I, for I keep forgetting their names. What? The anyway, the grass. The flowy grass. Um, yeah, here I had a little bit of a fight with the... Um, God, I'm forgetting all the names. The covery thingies. I wanted to do like a, a four piece with a two piece, but I couldn't... So for some reason it doesn't work. So I was like, should I do it like this, and then that, and I just kept it above the door and some of the windows. This gets very easy. And then we have a little back area, which is just kind of a chilling area, I guess, maybe. this Because the description of this lot also mentions, like, reading the book, so it, I guess it's sort of a bookstore slash library library maybe so I was like you know what maybe some people want to read outside so I'll just turn this into a little, little outdoor area where you can you just sit and chill I suppose um, I couldn't resist adding some ivy <laughs> after 407 uh, Edgeway uh, Edgewater Parkway god bleh, that lot name anyway since that one uh, I love ivy so much I use a bunch of ivy in that lot so and I haven't used this um, Mansions and Gardens uh, expansion pack Ivy for a while, and you know, that's uh, it's very lovely though. With the it's got a nice shade of green, so just a little bit Ivy. Yeah, some little flowering bushes. So I decided to go for orange because I was like, looks a little bit better than the blue ones, but. Again, I haven't used those plants in a while either, so yeah, I'm doing great. I'm very happy that I continue to use stuff that I have not used in a while. Little 
little bit here, a little bit there. <laughs> yeah, for the inside, I decided to go. Uh, I wanted to go a little bit more wood, maybe some paneling. So originally, I wanted to do a little bit darker, but um, I think I finally set up for a lighter shade. <laughs> I forgot. God, I worked on this a lot a while ago. Well, not a while, like a week ago. And I already forgot. What did I do? What did I do? And by a week ago, I just mean like three days ago. <laughs> yeah, I think I just went for this one. Oh, we're gonna watch me pick a wall. It's a surprise. Oh no, I went for these uh, sort of light white uh, floor to ceiling uh, planks. Looks so nice with a brown floor. Yeah, I am. I'm really happy with this one. I, I did a good job. <laughs> oh, this wood. This floor is uh, becoming my new favorite. It's a great floor. I'm very happy with this one. I forgot who made it, but thank you anyway. It's a good floor. It's yodely, yodely approved. <laughs> I was um, thinking about doing a light ceiling and I was like, maybe darker, maybe light. And I finally decided to go for a little bit lighter, but uh, I didn't really have a color that 100% matched kind of the walls. So I just took one that, you know, um, went best. The bathroom I just kept very simple. It's like I'll oh, just keep the same, I'll keep the same uh, floor, uh, wall, and just some green tiles, and uh, that was that. <laughs> Add some windows, get some light in, and well, I think we're nearing the end already. Here we are. So that was the exterior of the lot and the walls and stuff like that. So tomorrow it's going to be the interior. Hope you like it. See you then. Bye.